A recently unveiled FBI indictment has brought charges against a former Goldman Sachs analyst for engaging in insider trading, which at first might sound like something that we've heard time and time again, right? Insider trading is unfortunately nothing new, but this moron allegedly leveraged uh, Xbox 360 chat, yeah, like the party chat, to relay confidential information to close acquaintances. Federal prosecutors assert that this led to illicit gains exceeding $400,000 for the group of friends involved. The accused analyst reportedly assured a concerned friend that Xbox 360 chat was untraceable, but we're talking about it now, so uh, he was wrong. So yesterday, the FBI apprehended Anthony Vigiano and his alleged co-conspirator Christopher Solomon, and they charged them both with securities fraud. Now, Anthony Vigiano stands accused of exploiting his previous role at Goldman Sachs to disseminate trading tips to Christopher Solomon and others. Now, Solomon has already pled guilty. The FBI asserts uh, that both men were childhood friends and Solomon began purchasing shares and call options for obscure companies like Maxar Technologies, Atlas Technical Consultant, and Cineus Health after receiving tips from Anthony Vigiano. And it appears that some of this insider information uh, was shared, like I said, via Microsoft's advanced and secure gaming platform, but not secure to the point where you can conduct completely untraceable criminal activity over Xbox Live Party Chat. So in a recorded conversation following their initial interviews with the FBI in June, Anthony Vigiano reportedly told Solomon that Xbox 360 chat is completely untraceable. So they discussed potential informants within their circle, with Anthony Vigiano attempting to reassure Solomon that any potential incriminating evidence was totally beyond the FBI's grasp. Essentially, he thought that because he was not using, you know, a phone or like MSN Messenger or something, it just completely could not be traced because they are using basically a video game chatting platform. Now, it remains uncertain whether both individuals were still using Xbox 360 for gaming purposes in 2022, or if Anthony Vigiano was mistaken regarding the name of the Xbox console, such as maybe, you know, the Xbox One or the Xbox series. It's probably more likely that he thought that he could use the Xbox 360 because it is an older console, so they probably were using the 360. It is a console, of course, from 2005, and he probably assumed that it was more private due to its outdated interface and systems. Additionally, it remains unknown whether the FBI successfully obtained access to the Xbox chats in question or sort of induced Anthony Solomon's confession by creating the illusion of having such access. In any case, uh, let this be a lesson to uh, everybody. I get it, you know, uh, Xbox 360 chat with the boys. Yeah, stuff can be said, you know, jokes can be said. A lot of people, you know, always use the joke of like, oh god, you know, I hope my future boss doesn't hear what we're talking about here. I get it, you know, uh, dark humor is sort of a thing that uh, maybe people talk about a lot in uh, game chats. But if you are actually conducting criminal activity, well, just because you are using a chat that was used in 2005, 2007 to play Halo 3 and Modern Warfare 2, just because you are using that chat uh, does not mean that you are completely off the grid. And as we have seen with this story, these two men are now learning that the hard way.